pardon me, thou bleeding piece of earth, that I am meek and gentle with these butchers. Thou art the ruins of the noblest man that ever lived in the tide of times. Woe to the hand that shed this costly blood. Over thy wounds now do I prophesy. So now he's going to make a prophecy. Over thy wounds now, like a seance, over thy wounds now do I prophesy, which like dumb mouths do ope their ruby lips to beg the voice and utterance of my tongue. His wounds, he sang, look, are still bleeding, and the slits look like mouths whose, who ope their ruby lips bleeding to beg, so that his heartbeat is still pumping blood, to beg the voice and utterance of my tongue. Now he's going to think about what happens. A curse shall light upon the limbs of men. Domestic fury and fierce civil strife shall cumber all the parts of Italy. Blood and destruction shall be so in use, and dreadful objects so familiar, that mothers shall but smile when they behold their infants quartered with the hands of war, all pity choked with custom of fell deeds, and Caesar's spirit ranging for revenge, with Ate by his side, come hot from hell, shall in these confines with a the monarch's voice cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. 